Hi, thanks for joining us today. Uh, could you tell us your name, uh, where you're from, and if you have a nickname? My name is Parishat Anantravanich, and I'm from Thailand. My nickname's Nan. And uh, how'd you get your nickname? Um, my mom said that she named me after Nancy Reagan, but really I think she named me after a baby formula in Thailand named Nan. Nice. So, but she, she, she says she, that's not where she got it from, I don't know. And how old were you when you moved to the United States? I was 13. And so uh, where did you go to high school? I went to high school in um, Waynesville. It's two hours away. It's a military base. So, do you have family in the military? No. We just, yeah, we just happened to move into that town. Okay. So, uh, what, what year are you at school here and what's your major? Um, I'm a junior international business major. Cool. And uh, are you involved in any student organizations? Do you have a leadership position anything like that? Yeah. Um, I'm a senior chair for the International Programming Committee, which is a part of MSA. And now, uh, what does the International Programming Committee do? We uh, program events on campus, like International Fashion Show, Bazaar, pretty much to get international students and domestic students to share different cultural experiences. Okay, cool. And uh, is there anything you'd like to accomplish with this organization uh, while you're chair? Yeah, um, to pretty much put together events that will allow people to have fun, you know, domestic, international students, community members, um, even faculties, you know, to have fun while enjoying and learning new um, culture, cultures and different different things <laughs> that people okay, do. Cool. And now, uh, why do you think this is important? Well, it's important because the MU is a diver like really diverse um, campus, and in like throughout the world, there's different things that people do. Every country is different. So I think it's important, especially for the domestic student, like American students, to get out there and experience, you know, what it's like, not just um, put themselves, just like stay in America, you know. Right. Okay. So studying abroad is very important. Okay, cool. And um, do you have any kind of uh, interesting experience, you know, maybe something cultural that happened to you either when you came to America or when you visited other countries? Yeah, um, well I have several, like when I first came here, we, well like McDonald's in Thailand, they don't serve breakfast, and so like when we came here, I wanted the hash browns, but we didn't know that they stopped serving breakfast at 10, so my mom and I went through the drive through at 11, she can't speak English that well, so she's just like screaming at the guy, she's like, hash brown, hash brown, and the guy, like we don't know what he's saying, so like we were there for like 10 minutes and we ended up just going to the front window and he was like, well we don't serve breakfast. So there was like a different language barriers there. And um, when I came here for, uh, when I was a part of, well when I started being a part of the National Programming Committee, we go shopping with the student groups and stuff and they would buy different things to um, Prop, you know, different props for their events and stuff like that, like the fashion show. Um, last year, the Korean students, they bought mops and trash cans and stuff like that. And we were kind of confused at why they bought that, but then they incorporated it into their show and made it really cool and exciting. And um, this year for the fashion show, the Japanese student, they made a, like a remake of Back to the Future. So it was really cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for talking to us today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs>